Welcome to WHHI-TV's Daily News. It's a beautiful and hot day in the Low Country. I'm Betsy McDaniel, and here are today's headlines. The controversy surrounding development on Bay Point Island seems to be put to rest, at least for now. A recent ruling by Circuit Court Judge Marvin Dukes upheld the Beaufort County Zoning Board's decision not to grant a permit to the Sixth Senses Hotel, Resort and Spa. The developer filed an appeal of that decision back in November of 2020, hoping to save the $100 million project that promised to be eco-friendly. The Coastal Conservation League says the failure of the appeal makes it much less likely that a resort will ever be built on the barrier island. Low Country Congresswoman Nancy Mace has gone against her party for the second time in a week, voting as one of only eight Republicans who favored legislation protecting and expanding access to contraceptives. Mace drew the phrase, my state is banning exceptions, protect contraception, on the back of her blazer as she voted to pass a law guaranteeing the availability of contraceptives. Mace herself was a victim of sexual assault when she was 16 that forced her to drop out of school. And she said she can't imagine a world where her daughter or any other woman doesn't have access to birth control or other contraceptives. Bluffton police have arrested two teenagers for attempted murder of a man at Oscar Fraser Park late Wednesday after what they say is an illegal transaction gone wrong. 18-year-old Taquan Graham and o of Okatee and 17-year-old Eric Matthew of Bluffton are charged in a shootout with another man in the parking lot near the park's playground. No one was critically injured in the shootout. Electric bikes could be legal to ride on Hilton Head Island before Labor Day. The town council has given first reading approval to a new policy that would allow the bikes on public paths and trails. Of course, riders would have to follow the same rules as their pedal-powered counterparts. Discussions over allowing electric bikes have been going on for more than a year. Representatives of Bike Walk Hilton Head support a speed limit of 12 miles an hour for the electric bikes. A second reading of the ordinance that could signal final approval will be held in August. And our low country home has been on a few not so flattering lists recently, but let's end the week on a positive note. The digital media company Pure Wow that specializes in women's lifestyle content has named two of our Beaufort County towns as the first and second most charming small towns in the South Carolina. Bluffton was ranked number one as the last true coastal village in the South, and Beaufort was ranked second for its small town feel and charm, packed with shops, restaurants, and antebellum mansions. The media sources on your screen will have more on these and other stories, and we would love for you to like us on Facebook and follow us on Instagram at WHHITV. And if you have an idea for a news story, we'd love to hear it, so drop us a line at news at WHHITV.com. And now let's hand it over to Maria for a look at the weather. Thanks, Betsy. All right, so taking a look ahead, it does look like we're going to see some more scattered thunder showers throughout the rest of the week. Saturday, it's going to be cloudy in the morning with possible scattered thunder showers throughout the afternoon. Hillman Heights going to have a high of 87, a low of 78. Bluffton's going to have a high of 90, a low of 75. And Beaufort's going to have a high of 90 and a low of 76. Come Sunday, it's going to be cloudy in the morning as well and possibly have scattered thunder showers throughout the afternoon. Hilton Head's going to have a high of 85, a low of 77. Bluffton's going to have a high of 87 and a low of 74. And then Beaufort's going to have a high of 88 and a low of 75. The sunrise for this weekend is going to be at 632 and sunset's going to be at 826. Taking a look at the beach tides, Saturday low tide's going to be at 1.04 p.m. and high tide's going to be at 6.14 p.m. And then come Sunday, it's low tide's going to be at 1.53 p.m. and high tide's going to be at 7.06 p.m. Taking a look into next week, Monday there's going to be possible rain in the morning, but then it's supposed to be sunny the rest of the day. Highs in the 80s, lows in the 70s. Come Tuesday, there's possible rain in the morning as well, and then the rest of the day is going to be clear with highs in the 90s and lows in the 70s. And then come Wednesday, it's going to be sunny in the morning, then we're going to have a possible thunder shower in the afternoon with highs in the 90s and lows in the 70s. That's it for today. Let's head it back to the desk. And we'll be back in just a moment to take a look at heat exhaustion and how you can prevent it.